hosted by Propel Labs. These are power punches of insight from some of the brightest minds in business, delivered rapid fire in under 15 minutes. I am Jamie Taylor, heading up community and partnerships at Propel, and we are very pleased to have with us today Nico Garibaldi, a senior director at Pfizer and the site lead for the Global Center for Digital Innovation in Thessaloniki, Greece. Nico, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks a lot, Jamie, for having me here. I'm really happy to be here with you today. Fantastic. Well, let's go ahead and dive right in. A first question for you. At a high level, to frame up our session today, can you tell us what is your approach to innovation? Uh, this is a great question. So I would say that uh, in uh, the Center for DG Innovation, but in general in Pfizer, we are doing uh, a great, great uh, I would say, innovation. So first of all, uh, uh, we are inspired by agile principles in making innovation. We are really, I would say, patient or customer centric uh, for making innovation. But also, one thing that we strongly believe, uh, especially here in the Center for Digital Innovation, it's also making innovation uh, in partnership uh, with other uh, stakeholders, uh, I would say, outside of our center and collaboration uh, also with our other institutions. So just uh, to giving you some examples, the team here uh, is working really hard, uh, hard in making innovation, for example, in collaboration with startup, uh, with incubators, uh, but also with research labs and university here uh, in the ecosystem uh, here in Greece. So we call this uh, the open innovation team. Uh, and I think that it's giving uh, a lot of, uh, I would say, satisfaction to, to the work that we are doing, because it's really having different perspectives. I would say to our work because going outside can really boost uh, in some way the capabilities and the way that you can uh, face a, a problem or an issue in making innovation it's also as i said before it's boosting our work because we are collaborating uh, we are making open innovation and we are uh, really trying to maximize uh, i would say the effort for finding always solution for our patients and our customers Fantastic. I love that attention to partnerships and collaboration. Even the name of the team, the Open Innovation Team, tapping into and knitting together an ecosystem, going outside to boost and to maximize your impact on patients. Absolutely fantastic. So tell us, drilling down a bit and building on the themes that you just provided, what would you say is the biggest innovation challenge that you are confronting today in your role? I would say it's uh, the challenge, uh, I would say, of a transformation, because uh, I would say, especially here uh, we, in this type of innovation that we are making, uh, we should be, I would say, agile uh, as a startup, let's put it in this way, but also we are aware that we are a part uh, of a big, uh, big corporate, a big company like Pfizer can be. So sometimes uh, it's a matter of speed, uh, also making a lot of initiatives from le for, for learning about what we are doing, also from the failures that we are doing. But really, speed uh, is a, and also activities that we have to do, it's really key for making innovation for me. So what we are trying really to do, it's acting uh, as a small company, as a startup, but within a, a big corporate. I think this is really key for making innovation. I think that we are really doing well uh, on this direction. Fantastic. Transformation really is the key word in this emphasis on agility and speed. And I love this notion of acting like a small company within a large company to drive corporate innovation at scale. And now thinking broadly, really zooming out, can you tell us what, from your point of view, are the areas of greatest need in innovation for your industry? I think it's a, a big uh part, I would say, of transformation innovation, and it's going to impact everything. So I would say if you look uh, at the pharma company, digital, it's really spreading uh, innovation across, across all the departments. So let me give you some simple examples. So for example, from uh, the perspective of drug discovery, so I think digital, uh, it's really making a big step uh, for accelerating the processes, because as you can imagine, uh, through the digital capabilities, and I'm referring especially, for example, to supercomputing or quantum computing, you have uh, really a power for making, I would say, let's make it really simple, for making, for testing hypotheses uh, in a virtual space about some compounds or molecule can, that can be 
really effective and arriving to the market. So this is an example of how digital is supporting this area, but also, for example, in the drug development. So also here as a simple example, if you take into consideration clinical trials, so digital is supporting uh, a lot of this type of processes. First of all, uh, connecting patients uh, across the globe uh, through digital, it's something that it's really speeding all the operations on that, but also managing the data coming from clinical trials. So as you may be aware, this is the big part, uh, I would say it's also the big effort for clinical trials, managing data, also checking uh, data and also making analysis, it's a big part of the clinical trials and here digital is supporting also this area. Another one, also another example could be manufacturing. So digital is everywhere also there, but why? Because also here through digital, we are trying to make processes more efficient and also to speed up all these processes for manufacturing and for delivering then uh, at the end of the journey, our drugs to patients. So these are only a few examples, but also I would say there are other examples, for example, in the way that we are interacting with physicians and also with patients through digital. So I think that everything is impacted uh, within the, the pharma industry and within the companies uh, by digital. And this is really accelerating and making more efficient uh, all these uh, areas we need to make innovation uh, and adopting digital uh, through all these areas. Fantastic, Nico. You mentioned a few things I would have expected, like drug discovery and the, the role of digital there in screening drug candidates. But there are other aspects in this multifaceted uh, array of, of elements that you mentioned that surprised me, and I think probably surprised our audience in useful ways. An emphasis on manufacturing and the role of digital in that particular realm. Interestingly, interacting with physicians and the digital component there, I think you've really taught us today of the power of digital innovation, how it can apply not only to Pfizer, but an industry at a foundational level and then in an overarching way to drive sweeping and even and, and even quick paced change. So absolutely thrilling to hear everything that you've shared with us, Nico. Thank you again for being here and, and providing us with these terrific insights. And thank you to our audience for being with us today. Please join us next time as we carry this conversation forward and you can find us online at thepropellabs.com to learn more about our work. That's thepropellabs.com. Thank you, Nico, and thank Thanks. you, everyone. Thanks for uh, inviting me. It was a really big pleasure.